Hey there everybody, my name is Joe Robinson and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Europa by the mighty Carlos Santana. This song was written by Tom Costa and Mr. Santana and uh, it's a wonderful piece to play on the guitar. Santana's version of course is a great electric guitar recording but I kind of like playing it on acoustic guitar so I'm going to show you how to play it uh, on an acoustic today. We're going to start off with learning the chords. progression. And then I'm going to show you how to play all the lead parts. Now I do have some free goodies for you. I have a free backing track that you can download. It's linked below. And I also have a free chord chart with all the chords, chord diagrams and everything detailed with the, the full arrangement laid out. So you can download that for free. And if you'd like the full score with all the lead parts and everything, there's a link to that tab. And that is a paid score because the copyright belongs to Light Music from 1976. So let's talk about the structure of the song. We have four sections in this track. We have the main iconic melody. That's the A section. The B section goes like this. It's got those great bends. And then the C section sounds like this. And the final section is the kind of bossa nova. Going. Anyway, so let's jump into it right away, starting with the chords. So we have the song's in the key of C minor. We start off here with a B flat 7 sus 4 chord. Now that's a bar chord, and the frets are 6, 8, 6, 8, 6, 6. It's very similar to a B flat 7, which is the next chord, but we just have the pinky playing that suspended fourth on the third string, 8th fret. And so we have one bar of that chord. Then we go to a B flat 7 chord. And then an E flat major 7. Which is a beautiful, one of my favorite chords, major 7s. So we have a 6th fret, 8th fret, 5th fret, 8th fret, sorry, 7th fret, 8th fret, 6th fret. So once more. Six, eight, seven, eight, six. E flat major seven. Then we go to an A flat major seven. And these chords are very repetitive, so once you've learnt, you know, kind of this first A section, the rest will, will be very easy for you. A flat major seven. The low A flat there, fourth fret on the low E string. Fifth fret on the fourth string. Fifth fret on the 3rd string, and then 4th fret on the 2nd string. So we have 4, not playing the 5th string, 5, 5, 4, A flat major 7. Then we have a G sharp, sorry, a G7 sus4 to a G7. It's the same move as the B flat 
7, sus4 to the B flat 7, <laughs> it's a mouthful, and down here over the G bass. And then we end up resolving to the key of the song, C minor. So I'll play it for you once at tempo. Three, four. <laughs> Repeat that whole progression. But this time we end on a C major seven. It's a beautiful departure modulation there so that C major 7 is the same voicing we played the E flat major 7 but down here on the third fret so the frets are 3 5 4 5 3 and we do a stop and then we go to this section and the chords for it uh, it's, it's very similar to the A section, except the first two chords are different. We go to an F minor. I'm just playing a regular old F minor bar chord there. That chord doesn't feel great to hold it for very long, but it goes by pretty quick. And you can always play this inversion of it if you want. But it sounds quite nice having that low F. As with the high melody strings on the guitar. Come up here to one of my favorite inversions of a B flat 9 chord. You could play it here, <laughs> but I, I like playing it here. So we have the B flat with the thumb played on the 6th fret, and then we have the 6th fret on the 4th string, 5th fret on the 3rd string, and then 6th fret on the 2nd string. And then we keep going through the progression E flat, A flat major 7. G7 sus4 to a G7 ending on C minor chord and then we repeat that same chord progression through the C section which is the melody and we resolve to that major 7 chord again and and then we go back into the B section. I'm just kind of walking through the, the chord chart I have here. So it's, like I said, it's free to download this chord chart. So check that out and, uh, and play along with the backing track. Uh, after the second B section, we go into this repetitive Latin section. All that is is going from C minor 7 to an F minor chord and you can play whatever voicings you want First fret, third fret, fourth fret, and then to that F minor chord, and I'm playing that with a thumb down there, playing the low F. And it, you do this kind of figure with the bass going. tab out that little pattern so you can check out the free tab uh, to, to learn 
that accompaniment guitar part. I think it's important to learn the accompaniment guitar part before you learn the lead part because, you know, it's great to be able to play the, the, the rhythm to a song like this and not just, not just the lead. That being said, we're going to go into the lead now. Let's uh, take a look at it. So we're in the key of C minor and we're basically based around the C natural minor scale. So I encourage you to think of all these melodies as being part of that scale. I find it easy to learn a song if I know the key and the tonality, kind of, you know, where the notes fit rather than just learning kind of it's 8th fret, 12th fret, well, 8th fret, 11th fret, and so forth. So rather than just memorizing the fret numbers, I uh, kind of memorize the scale. In this case, it's the natural minor scale. And uh, when we go to the G7 chord, you can kind of go to a bit of a harmonic minor sound, but that's not necessary. I would encourage you to just think about the C minor pentatonic scale as well as the C natural minor scale when uh, when playing solos over over this this tune because you know it's an expressive piece and we want to be able to uh, phrase the melody in nice musical ways. It doesn't have to be you know exactly the same every time. In fact, you listen to Carlos play it and he'll be you know doing all kinds of little variations. Anyway, you're ready for me to get into it. So the first phrase sounds like this. Once we've learned that, this section repeats, and this is the main theme of the song. So like I said, we're in the key of C minor, and we're playing G, C, and then we're walking up the scale, D, E flat, back down, D, C, B flat, G, A flat, three, four, one. Okay, so it's fret 8, 8, 10, 11. You kind of hammer on there. 10, 8, 11, and then hammer on from 8 to 9. That's the first phrase. Make sure you play with some feeling. The next phrase goes like this. That is 9, 11, 8, 10, 8, 11, 10, sliding up to the 12th fret. Again, I have tab for this entire arrangement uh, linked below, so check it out. So that's A flat, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, A, A flat. B flat, F to G. So the first two phrases. just walking up the scale from this G note, 8th fret of the 2nd string. G, A flat, B flat, C, B flat, A flat, G, E flat, F, E flat, G, E flat, F. Fret numbers, 8, 9, 11, 13, 11, 
And if you're playing on acoustic, it's good to have a cutaway for this, this tune. Resolve it. Really beautiful. Ten, eight, nine, eleven, nine, eight, ten, eight. F G B flat, F G A flat B flat, A flat G, F. -E. And then we have this final riff, but before we do that, I'll just play what we have so far. Three, four, one. Final riff. And this is straight out of the pentatonic scale. 10, 8, 10, 8. 10, 8, 6. 6, 8. So. Do a little slide there. Ending on the C minor chord there. So once you've learnt that, I would say download the free backing track and play with it over and over again. Just get used to playing that melody and trying to phrase it in a nice way. And you know, if you spend uh, three or four days just playing that over and over again then going on to learn the next section to put some context on where we are in the song this A section repeats and it ends instead of going it goes slides up to that G note just over the C major 7 chord the next section is the big bends. It's great to do these bends on an acoustic because it's good, good practice for our vibrato and our strength and everything. Of course, it's, it sounds pretty, pretty cool on an electric guitar. But you know what happens if the electricity goes out? <laughs> All right, so I'll play the A section in its entirety so you can hear it in context. One, two, three, four. Is getting lost there. I was lost in the in the music. So uh, I will say that when I play it on an acoustic guitar, because we don't have distortion or anything, it's kind of nice to get those strings ringing out sympathetically. Like when you play that G note on the eighth fret of the B string, you hear the the G string gonna you know, ring out sympathetically. 
It's kind of like natural reverb. overtones ringing out. So, we've learned the A section. Good job. Now the B section. I'm coming to the tab here to bar 18. It's quite difficult to play this on an acoustic guitar, but it's good it's good for us to be able to to, to do it. So, when Santana plays it on an electric guitar, he's going like this. He's doing a whole step bend all the way from the 13th fret to the 15th fret. And that's a bit much on an acoustic. So we're doing a half step bend. And it's great to get control of half step bends. You're not going to get the same sustain as an electric guitar with a lot of distortion, but you can get a really, you know, beautiful sound. And, uh, you know, the tone is really up to you and your fingers, so that's nice. So we have G, C, and then the bend, from F sharp to G in this case. So it's 12th fret, 13th fret, bending from the 14th to the 15th fret. It's in vibrato. 3, 4, 1. Then we have this kind of bend release, which is just between the 13th fret and the 12th fret and the 11th fret. It's a little difficult to explain, but you can hear the hear the melody. do a bit of a bluesy band there but it's just those two notes F and E flat with a little anticipated bend in then we go G C E flat F do that. You can do it as a band, right. or you can do it as a, as a slide, hammer-on pull-off kind of thing. And that's with the slide. This is a hammer-on pull-off. We're going 14, 13, 11, and then, you know, and experiment with your own phrasing. This is not a exact science. This is meant to be real expressive and soulful and kind of a spiritual song. So experiment with playing the melody and phrasing it really behind the beat and just trying to get all the, the juice out of it you can. Pull all the beauty out of your guitar. That's that's what we're trying to do as musicians. It's like you, you see a great drummer play like Tony Williams or Steve Gadd and they hit a drum and all this tone comes out. Whereas, you know, someone who's never played a drum before hits a drum and it just sounds like a thud. <laughs> Same thing with the guitar. It's about how you pull the tone out of the instrument. So we have so far. And then we go. One of my favorite parts of the song. So we're just basic blues scale there. We're bending up from the 14th fret to the 15th fret, releasing. And then we go F, E flat, D. This is where the harmonic minor kind of sound comes in. It's not really harmonic minor, it could be just natural minor, but. F, E flat, D, and then G, F, E flat, D. Now you can really 
play whatever lick you want there. You just kind of got to resolve it in a nice way. I'm going. Well, let me figure out what I'm doing. D. I'm going. It's a really nice lick. So you're going C, E flat, hammering onto the F, and then you do a slide. Sliding from the F, F sharp, F. Resolving to E flat. And then we're just walking down the pentatonic scale. So it's E flat, C. B flat, G, F, E flat, C. <laughs> there we have it. That's right, it goes like that. So it ends on that C note, and then it keeps walking down the scale. You should know that pentatonic scale if you're playing this song. Go to invisibletechnique.com slash two scales, number two, and you can download a free version of the uh, pentatonic scale with the backing track if you want. <laughs> so there we have it. We've learned the A section. We've learned the B section. Next, we're going to learn the C section. Let's jump into it. The main thing to get in this session is is that little thing to pick up. And the licks on the end, I think you can improvise a little bit. So we start off going 10, 7, 8, and we're at bar 26 here on the tab for anyone who's following along. Link to below in the video description, as is a free backing track and a free version of the chords that you can play along with. C, D, E flat, which is 10th fret on the 4th string, 7th fret on the 3rd string, 8th fret, and then we have 10th fret, sorry, 8th fret, and then 8th to 10th fret to 8th fret, so B flat, E flat, F, G, B flat, E flat, F, G, repeat that, three times, and then we go, we slide from the B flat, E flat to the F, and then we go E flat, F, E flat, we slide up from the F sharp to the G, 7th fret to the 8th fret of the B string, and Pinky plays the 11th fret, the B flat note on the 2nd string, and then we play this little riff, and you know Santana plays that a little differently, I'm kind of approximating what he's doing, it's, it's just kind of a nice little feeder. All it is is G, B flat, C. Kind of rocking back and forth between the B flat and the C. And then we come back down. Walking back down the pentatonic scale. B flat, G, F, E flat, C. B flat, back to that E flat, F to G. 
and then you can play whatever lick you want to resolve it. You could play. And then we repeat this C section. So just to give you some context, I'll play it. Three, four, one. Repeating. Play another riff. finish sliding up to that G just like we did with the first A section and from there I'll just explain the rest of the song because it's quite easy you've learnt the whole thing by now we just repeat the B section it's the same as the the previous one and then instead of going we kind of resolve Come to this C minor chord, and the, and the feel changes from a to a bossa cut feel. And from here, we're just improvising. We're just playing a solo, and we're using the the C natural minor scale. So we got C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat. Sorry, B flat and C. Yeah, it's just kind of really just. It's a nice little phrase. G, B flat, F, G, B flat, A flat, G, B flat, A flat. And I encourage you to just play along with the backing track. There's a free backing track. Just play solos to your heart's content. You can play the natural minor scale over this whole song and have a great time doing so. Focus on the phrasing trying to milk all the tone out of the notes. And just as a recap of the structure, we have the A section. We have the B section. We have the C section. And then we have the D section. D, E flat, D, C. Really quick little hammer on. And we can't really play the same solo that Santana's playing because we're on an acoustic and he's doing so much bending. So I think it's great to come up with your own ways of playing this uh, song, you know, to finish up with a big, long, extended solo. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what other songs you'd like me to break down for you. And uh, take good care of that, everybody. Like I said, check out the, the resources below. The tab to the full score, which is available, looks like this. And then the free tab to the chords, 
which also includes a backing track. So just click the link below to, to grab that. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks for watching. All the best.